I want to show you another example of frame by frame animation. I'm going to open up a new document, go up to File, New, and I'm going to choose Flash File Action Script 3.0. I'm going to click OK. Now, this time, in the last video, I showed you how you could draw on each frame and you could get it to create. What I want to do this time is I'm going to create a, uh, an animation using shapes and I'm going to set my shapes. When I draw them, I'm going to make sure that the object drawing is selected. What the object drawing will do is it will allow me to edit each shape on each of the different uh, frames slightly differently. So this also works on uh, the object drawing works when you are going to add in action script or programming to your animations. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a wonderful design here. I think I'm just going to draw a block head. My uh, stick figure animation here. And so I'm drawing this. As I draw it, you can see these little circles appearing. These are snapping the lines that I'm drawing to lines that are already existing. So that's what those little circles appearing are, is they're snapping. To turn the snapping off, you can turn off the, ma uh, mag the magnet on the side, and it will make it so that you just draw wherever and it doesn't snap. Let me undo that. Now, with my blockhead drawn here, I want to add a little bit of animation to this blockhead. Let's say I want um, his arm to wave up and down, and I, I want it to kind of rotate around. To rotate the object, let me just show you this uh, free transform tool, the tool underneath the black arrow, you select on it, and it gives you all these boxes that let you resize an object. I'm going to undo that. Or lets you rotate. If I move my cursor around the outside, notice how I can rotate it. Now, this is rotating around the center point or that white circle in the center. I can move that center point, and I'm going to move it down here onto the body. And I'm going to rotate. Notice how it rotates now around that one point. I'm going to go ahead and copy this frame and put it into the next frame. To do that, I simply press F6 on the keyboard, and it creates a copy of everything. Now I'm going to select on just that arm, and I'm going to rotate it a little bit. I'm going to press F6 on the keyboard. It copies everything. And I'm going to click off so it deselects. Then I select the arm again. And I'm going to rotate. I'm going to press F6 again, copy everything, click off, click on here. I'm going to rotate up. Now, having done this, if I press Enter, you can see it adds motion to this object. And the motion is geared around that, that point of rotation that I created. You can do this to each of the points on here or each of the objects. Now, let's say I wanted to do this over and over and over again. Instead of having to keep pressing F6, since that's a simple motion of just the arm moving, I can actually click on my first keyframe, press Shift on the keyboard, and click on the last keyframe. This will select all of my keyframes. Now, if I right click, I can go down to Copy Frames, click in frame 5, and I'm going to right click Paste Frames. And now, if I hit the space bar, oops, sorry, enter, if you press enter on the keyboard, you can see my animation lasts even longer. Go ahead and experiment creating a frame-by-frame -frame animation.